reverse debug and we're going to start with a simple FIFO design first off let's compile it with VCS we're going to use the new access debug access switch give it all and we'll do a plus reverse to enable the feature and we'll also do a dash kdb to generate the database for running verdi once that's generated we'll invoke verdi by doing a simv dash gui equals verdi Okay, the first thing we are going to do is to go into the preferences to turn on the switch to enable reverse debug you'll see there's a folder called interactive debug we'll expand that and there is the reverse debug options we'll check that to turn it on select OK for the purpose of uh, what if analysis, we're also going to do uh, something else, which is keep con uh, future off. What this does is, uh, we keep future on, you'll be able to go back in time and go forward in time again without changing anything. But if you want to force a certain value, what we want to do is to tell Verdi to flush the FSDB whenever I go back in time. And that essentially is what the config keep future off does going to select to jump uh, the entire test bench and design to FSDB and then we're going to run simulation so straight away you will see that the test fails at time 550 let's bring up the waveform and look at what might be wrong I'll just pull in all this bunch of signals and I know I also have an internal pointer in a FIFO and let's look at that as well so this particular test is looking for full to be asserted but we could see that it remains low for the entirety of the test and the simulation uh, looking at the internal pointer, we could see that the FIFO did indeed uh, like fill up and it is full at this time, which is 175. Uh, however, we are not getting uh, this full asserted. So the other signals that we could also see is the acknowledge is actually the asserted at this particular time when it becomes full. So what we could do right now is I want to run back in time uh, and this particular acknowledge signal is a good want to denote uh, where I want to go back to so I'll just use a middle mouse drag and set a breakpoint let's do stop dash change and what this will do is when I run in reverse simulation will go back in time until it finds a change in that signal and that's where it will stop so let's do that You can see now we are at one uh, time 175 it's also shown in the uh, lower bar here where our simulation is at if you look at the waveform it now has been updated we are at time 175 uh, we still do keep a little bit beyond that time just to show you what happens but you can see a sort of faint blue dotted line here to denote where the current simulation time is at so just to see if uh, full is the cause of the failure what I'm going to do is just again drag that signal I'm just going to force it to 1 and see if our test passes so this gives me a quick way to figure out if this is the right signal that I should be looking at so we have a test pass and this indeed is something that uh, we should be looking at in the RTL uh, why this is so and then I'll go further back to debug that in the RTL but it gives me a quick way to figure out if this is the right signal if this is what the test is looking at what else can we do uh, let's see we can run back again in time and 
We are again stop at the break point at 175. If I would like to look at what's happening further, I could continue to either step forward with the blue uh, step forward icon or I can continue to step backwards. So let's try that. Let's turn on annotation on the source code. Ah, there it is. Full is being asserted uh, when the pointer is equivalent to depth instead of a depth minus one where it should be. So this is slightly a point in the code where I want to change and then rerun. So by being able to go forward or backwards, I can continue going forward to see what's going to happen and how signals are changing. And this is absolutely useful when you are looking at test bench code. If you would like to know what values are changing dynamically, this is a very, very good tool for you to be able to go backwards and forwards to debug your simulation.